All right, what's up, y'all? Dan here, and this is For Your Mental Health, a podcast where we talk about mental health issues that affect me and affect you and affect people around the world today. So thank you so much for joining in on the discussion. This is a different look. As you can see, we've got the sort of mental health, sort of therapist-y kind of couch in the background. So I thought it would be interesting to kind of throw that in there, give it more of that sort of vibe. Um, I've also changed the name a bit. It's not weekly anymore. It hasn't been weekly for a while. So I've decided to just make it For Your Mental Health Podcast. So that way I can just post whenever I want, not feel too bad about not doing it weekly anymore, and just post about things I'm into and interested in talking about. So uh, hopefully you'll join me on that journey going forward. But here we are, episode 20 of the podcast. And today's episode is about catastrophizing. So that's a fun word to say, but not such a fun thing to kind of go through because catastrophizing is at its heart anxious thinking about things that will happen in the future that will be super terrible and super bad and will screw up your life and make everything just awful going forward if you do one bad thing. Like, for instance, I've watched a video recently. It is on catastrophizing. It's kind of how I first found out about it. YouTube channel is called Therapy in a Nutshell. I'll link the video down below. It's got a ton of views. Check it out. Uh, it, it talks about an example of someone failing a test. And after failing that test, the person who fails it, they kind of think up all these different scenarios where they now can't get into the school they want to go to, and they got to work at McDonald's the rest of their life, and they're going to die in the street homeless and alone. And that's definitely going to be the future. It sounds ridiculous, right? But people live with this sort of thinking process every day, you know, that if they don't do something right, that there's going to be this domino effect where all these other things are just going to fail and their life's just going to be miserable. Well, you know, that's something that really isn't something that is conducive to good mental health. I'll give you an example from my own life. Um, I've used catastrophizing, I think, in a way that has made things worse for me. Um, when I bike around the city, I've gotten in instances where like, I feel like I could have gotten hit by a car or hit by a train. And, you know, I think, oh my God, like, what if that would have happened? What if I would have gotten hit by these, you know, large vehicles and, you know, maybe I'd have to go to the hospital. Maybe I would have a lot of medical bills. Maybe I'd lose my job because I couldn't work. And maybe I couldn't get into wrestling school, you know, because I was so banged up. These are things that enter my head. And a lot of people deal with this, you know, you know, and I'm not really sure I knew that until I watched this video on catastrophizing. So, you know, it's important to me to create something that um, was from my perspective to kind of educate more people out there about this particular phenomenon. Um, because I was feeling these feelings of, of anxiousness, of insecurity, of guilt, and I wasn't really sure what was going on. But it wasn't until I figured out that catastrophizing was a thing that I was like, oh, well, then it's almost certainly something to do with that. Because I was kind of making up these sort of grand scenarios where, you know, one bad thing goes wrong and all of a sudden my whole life is, is ruined. It's all screwed up. For me, it's been helpful to, to put myself in that situation again, you know, like going to that same stoplight and, you know, putting myself through the same paces of going through the light where it's turning yellow and, you know, it, it feels like it's dangerous, but maybe it really isn't, you know, as long as I'm doing things in a pretty safe manner. I feel a lot better about myself. I feel like I'm overcoming these instances where I was previously catastrophizing. I was making it seem like, you know, what if I did get in an accident? What if things got, got really bad? So, you know, I feel like I've grown a lot since that time because a lot of people out there do deal with this this sort of rumination of negative thoughts, you know, from just the one possible negative outcome. You know, I think that if you're going to go for like a job interview, or if you're going to try to maybe ask someone out on a date, or maybe confront someone about some serious issue at home or in the workplace, those can be difficult things to, to do because, you know, obviously you want to get the best out of that. But some people set themselves up for failure because they don't want to deal with the fact that uh, maybe it won't work out. And so they're like, oh, well, you know, I wasn't super into it anyway, and, or I thought I was going to fail um, the interview, or I, they probably aren't going to like me back, or, you know, maybe, maybe my friend will escalate this serious situation even more. And, you know, then that just causes even more problems. So you expect the bad to happen. 
But, you know, I found that if you look on the bright side of things, if you look for the good in people, if you look for the good in, you know, job interviews and asking people out and whatever kind of social situations you're in, oftentimes you'll find it. You know, you can create the opposite of catastrophizing. You can be a, a grand sort of optimist and, you know, find a, a path that makes sense positively where things do go well all the time. And you can imagine your life getting better and better and better. Like, that's a great way to be. Is it hard? Absolutely. It's a super, super hard thing to do um, because things don't always work out so well, you know, and it's easy to lean on failure. But, um, you know, I think, you know, for me, I've put in a lot of effort not to do that you know, to try to not keep going in that direction because it feeds the depression, it feeds the anxiety. And, you know, that's not something I want to do. You know, I want to get home at the end of the day, feel good about myself, feel good about where I'm going in life and prosper, you know, and grow from here. So, you know, my wish is that you out there can do the same. That whatever's happening in your life, whatever you're going through, you are able to um, look on the bright side of things and see the positives as opposed to the negative outcomes from every possible situation you're in. Don't catastrophize not healthy for you. It may be an easy easy thing to do to let things kind of pile up as, you know, these negative sort of thoughts from possible negative outcomes where things just don't work out, but those things do catch up to you, you know? Uh, if you look on the bright side, if you are positive, um, you're gonna you're gonna attract so many great things. So many people are gonna be like, wow, look at this guy. He's always so positive all the time. Like, I, I wanna be like him. I wanna be his friend and, you know, um, You'll just you'll find things just to be easier throughout throughout the day. That's what I've found. That's what I felt in my life, and I hope you can find that in your life too, for sure. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me throughout this uh, this journey, this mental health journey that I'm going on with everybody. So much love, much respect. It's uh, another cool fall day. It's actually cold. It's like I want to say like 35, 40 degrees out in Chicago right now. So definitely hoodie weather. I'm still biking around. Um, outside so I'm trying to bundle up hands I felt the I felt the cold in my hands the other day so you know you know it's coming the cold the real cold is coming for sure but at least I can be inside and make videos which is always a cool thing to do nice and warm inside with uh, the lovely little lights right there but uh, yeah that's episode 20 for your mental health podcast is the name of the series thank you so much for watching um please like subscribe share once again helps out a ton it really mean a lot for me uh for you to do that so thanks for watching and as always follow your instincts and lyf love yourself first i love you all so much thank you take care peace out for now sayo nada cha cha